In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create and customize a card visual just like all of these for your own report. Hi, my name is Ned. And if you're new here, this is a channel where I do fun stuff with Python, SQL, Power BI that I don't normally get to do in my day job. And over the past week or so, I've been developing the visual that I just showed you in this earlier video. And it's a visual that you can take and customize on your own. But first, before we get into how it works and how I build it, uh, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow and keeps me making cool free stuff like what I just showed you. All right, let's jump in. This is an SVG visual that I built using Google Gemini Pro 3 and their new IDE anti-gravity. I spent a few late nights playing with anti-gravity and having a conversation and making small visual tweaks to produce this DAX measure right here, which is what is behind all of those cards that I just showed you. Now I've used AI or LLMs or these big models in my development workflows for quite some time now, but there's something different about Gemini Pro 3 and its ability to create these SVG visuals. You see, one of the things it does that's unique is it also generates the Power BI visual in HTML and DAX, which means that I can make tweaks via the HTML file uh, that will then be implemented in the DAX file. And this has unlocked a ton of creativity for me and kind of this ability to make these tiny, really cool tweaks that I didn't have when I was previously just developing, thinking in a DAX mindset. Uh, I know this stuff was possible before, but this development workflow seems to have just made things incredibly easy for me and unlocked a whole new world of creativity. And the timing of this newfound creativity for me couldn't be any better because Microsoft Power BI just released their new image visual, which can take a SVG image URL and just render it really perfectly. So breaking this out, you can see here's an SVG image URL and it's rendering perfectly in the new image visual. So without further ado, let's talk about how this is working and how these cards are built. Each and every card that you see on the screen here is a one of the new image visuals. So if I click on this and then I expand the new formatting pane and then go down to style and then image, I, you'll see that I'll have selected an image source and then selected a measure. Now, the measures, and as you can see, I've got one for each card right here, are image URL measures. And, well, they're a complicated one. And that's, you know, in part because this is a complicated visual. First things first, we have the SVG that's actually rendering the visual itself. And then the little prefix here that Power BI needs in order to recognize the SVG as an image URL. Then we have a ton of DAX logic, and I tried to make this as uh, flexible and as reusable as possible, and I'm going to show you what each one of these variables do. First, there's the actual measure value that's populating in the card. Then there's the target value. Then there's the card title. So if we go into this card, what you can see is here's the actual value, here's the target value, and then here's the card title. This to go value right here is being calculated on the fly. Now the next set of variables are pulled out into this separate DAX measure. That way I can highlight to you what they do on the card visual while at the same time keeping the DAX editor open and visible to you. So starting off strong. There's the measure format variable. Now this is the formatting string that's used to format this value right here, the target value, and then the to go or exceeds value. The one after that is a dark mode toggle on and off, uh, which is a fun little tweak that we'll get into later. The one after that is the threshold percent. So this is the percent that will cause it to switch between a good color, which in this case is a green, or the bad color, which is red. So the red that you see on the screen right here. So if this were to be set to 0.6, this would be green. The next piece is the target line percent, which is what controls where this line actually sits on this bar graph. Then we have the good color and the bad color. 
then vertical spacing, which controls the spacing between this value, this value, and this value. And then finally, the corner radius, which controls the actual corners of the SVG. Let's go ahead and edit some of these and see what happens. So first things first, I'm going to switch it into light mode. So I'll hit this false right here to go into light mode. And what do you know? We now have a white card. All right, let's switch that back. And then let's go ahead and lower the threshold percent that changes the color switch to 0.6. And what do you know when we go back? We now have seen the colors change. Moving on to the target line percent, it's currently set at 20%. If I change this to 3.0 and we go over here, what we'll see is that the scale down below has now changed and the line is now at 300% of target. One cool call out that I'll just show you is if this target line percent is in the middle right here, you'll see that this is perfectly centered. But if this threshold line gets over here, it'll switch to being uh, left justified or over here, it'll switch to being right justified. Then we have our good and bad color, which these are just simple hex color codes, so I won't switch those. Vertical spacing, which this is a fun one. If I switch this to 100, what you'll see is the vertical spacing between all these changes. So if you want to play around with these values, you can to make this uh, you know extra customizable. And then the corner radius right here is what controls how curved it is. So if I switch this to 50, what you'll see is that when we go back at this, we now have an incredibly curved visual, although my instinct would actually probably be to go more square. So if we switch this back to five, we now have a much more squared card. Still with me? Well, that is great because we're now on to the third and final block of customizable variables, and they're the most fun ones, the colors. So first things first, all of these colors have a uh, if statement. I know this probably isn't the most efficient DAX, um, but this if statement is what's facilitating the switch between dark mode or light mode. And you can go ahead and remove this and just set these variables equal to a hex color code if you want. But this is how you can customize pretty much all of the colors in the card, except for this, the colors that make up this achieved, this to go, and then the actual bar itself, because those are controlled by the good and the bad colors. That said, starting off strong, we have the background colors. Now these background colors are what allows and you to have a gradient in the card. And all of these cards all have a subtle gradient. You have the background start and then the background end. And that's how I'm making these fun rainbow effects. Then we have the main text color. Now this main text color is what is controlling the callout value, the target, and then either the exceeded or to go labels, as well as the label, or not the label down there. So they're just controlling the value, the target, and the exceeded. Then we have the subtext color, which is what's controlling this value right here's the title the target value and then the value under the tick then we have the track color which this right here is kind of a light pink if you notice that's what's controlling that then we have the border color which if you notice this is like a little red light red border color and then we have the target line color which right now is currently set to the main text color so it'll be black but you can customize and i have done that in some of these even though it's very subtle. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll link a Power BI file with this card visual in the video description for you to download completely for free. All I ask is that you do one thing uh, in exchange, which is to like this video and subscribe. Again, like this video and subscribe because I have more fun SVG visuals planned. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.